tomorrow's Independence Day holiday, Brainerd Lakes area communities are expecting an influx of visitors. But in Aiken County, some holiday plans could be affected by the recent flooding. Becky Parker explains some of the extra guidelines the county is handing down to keep people and property safe. Each year around the 4th of July, Aiken County is inundated with visitors coming to enjoy the lakes, and recent severe flooding does not seem to be keeping them away. From the looks of the traffic, it's not going to affect it too badly because the streets have been very busy. Most people can now, because it's receded somewhat, get to their homes and their cabins. Well, we were nervous about it at first, but once we got here, we enjoyed the rain showers and the roads weren't closed, so we can still travel and see the sights. But with the influx of people, officials are issuing some extra precautions. The county board spent hours revising a no-wake emergency ordinance that had been in place. They lifted the rule in some areas, hoping to keep an enjoyable environment for boaters while still protecting lakeshore homes and businesses. As we move forward, you know, we rely on summertime for a lot of business in Aiken County and a lot of our businesses um, rely on that influx of, of tourism during the summertime. And, and by keeping these uh, restrictions on there too long, we would, we would certainly have an impact on that. Officials are also warning that children be monitored so they stay out of collected flood water. The Minnesota Department of Health has issued contamination warnings, and there's also the risk of drowning. The lakes themselves should be safe, other than Big Sandy, which has some floating debris. But every other lake, um, personally, I wouldn't uh, be afraid to swim in. I wouldn't be afraid to have my kids swim in any of the other 300, 400 plus lakes. With five to six times the population of the county coming up for the holiday, it's more important now than ever for people to make sure they stay safe. Becky Parker, Lakeland News. Six lakes still have no wake on the entire lake. Many more have no wake 300 feet from the shoreline. A list of lakes is available on the Aiken County website. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.